Hello everyone, myself Jasmine Joseph, studying in grade 11. Albert Einstein once said, Imagination is more important than knowledge. For knowledge is limited to all that we now know and understand, while imagination embraces the entire world and all there ever will be to know and understand. So what if we merge that imagination into our learning? That's precisely what we are aiming through our integrated activity. Moving forward, you'll find the models of Microsoft division made by our friends in this video. But now, let me tell you why Art Integrated Learning is significant. Art Integrated Learning is a teaching learning model which is based on learning through the arts and with the arts. Needless to see, our biology class has always been acute with figures and diagrams that help us understand the concepts better. The same theorem applies in Art Integrated Learning as well. Science is intrinsic to art after all. Integrating science and art can easily be accomplished in both the art and science classrooms. Mixing art into science lessons can help the students better retain information and be more creative in their learning processes. So what now? Over to the video now. Thank you. Metaphase is a second stage of cell division between prophase and anaphase. During this stage, spindle fibers attach to kinetic core of chromosomes. Chromosomes are moved to spindle equator and get aligned along the metaphase plate through spindle fibers to both poles. Anaphase is the third stage of cell division between metaphase and telophase, during which syndrome is split and chromatids separate. Chromatids move to opposite poles. Cell division is a very important process in all living organisms and this is marked by M phase or mitotic phase. Mitosis is a type of cell division that results in two daughter cells each having the same number and same kind of chromosome as the parent nucleus. The very significant contribution of mitosis is cell repair and growth of multicellular organism. Mitotic phase is divided into four phases that is prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Prophase is the first stage of karyokinesis of mitosis and this is marked by initiation of condensation of chromosomal material. Chromosomal material becomes untangled during the process of condensation. Centrosome, which had undergone duplication during interphase, began to move towards opposite pole of the cell. At the end of Prophase, Golgi complex, endoplasmic reticulum, nucleolus, and nuclear envelope disappear. This complete disintegration marks the start of metaphase. In this phase, spindle fibers attach to kinetic core of chromosome. Chromosomes are moved to spindle equator and get aligned along metaphase plate through spindle fibers to both poles. Next phase is anaphase. Here, the centromere splits and the chromatid separates and moves to the opposite pole. The next is telophase, the beginning of the stage of karyokinesis. Here, chromosomes in this stage cluster at opposite spindle poles. They condense and lose their individuality. 
nuclear envelope develops around the chromosome cluster at each pole forming two daughter nuclei. Golgi complex, endoplasmic reticulum, nucleolus all reappear. Mitosis accomplishes not only the segregation of duplicated chromosomes into daughter nuclei but the cell itself is divided into two daughter cells by the separation of cytoplasm called cytokinesis at the end of which the cell division gets completed. Thank you.